start talking. I'm going to attempt a YouTube video here. Uh, I am restoring a 1947 Ford pickup truck. And what you see here in the video right now is you see a, a, uh, the original cab window that came out of it on the driver's side. And the, from 42 to 47, Ford put a, a band around the entire perimeter of these trucks. And the bottom, which is missing in this, is the track that the glass fits into and the opposing arms on the window regulator uh, move in to raise and lower the window. What I want to take you through is a few things that will hopefully help you avoid some difficulties and some frustrations that I went through. So we'll have a go at it here and, and see what happens. Okay, for the next uh, little segment of this, this is the uh, window frame metal banding that goes around the 42 to 47 Ford pickup truck uh, for, the for the cab glass, the windows, door windows. Uh, and here you see the pieces. Uh, there's a metal banding that goes around the top. There's the glass channel that uh, fits in the bottom that the glass slides into. And then also there is the uh, channels that the opposing arms on the window regulator operate in. I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see and you can see that there is a channel there so to speak uh, that the rollers of the uh, uh, window uh, regulator uh, ride in. And, and I'll turn the uh, channel glass channel this way and you can see the groove that is there that allows the glass to be embedded in that and then these these two pieces here they screw together here now if you if your nut and bolt for this is rusted out which it might very well be you can go to a specialty nut and screw place and you can find a male and a female screw uh, male and female parts of a screw that fit into that uh, you can also find them on the internet. Something that I wanted to add to this uh, to this part of it is is that these frames are very difficult to find. I was lucky enough to find a pair on the internet and ordered them immediately. There are no manufacturers as far as some of the suppliers that I've dealt with tell me uh, that are manufacturing this. Things can be fabricated, but you're going to have to change the size of your cut window glass that you might have to order if you're not going to use the frame because the frame makes up the overall dimensions that causes the window to fit tight uh, in the door uh, glass uh, opening that's there. But just keep that in mind folks, these frames are hard to find. I want to show you uh, uh, how the glass is inserted into these metal frames. And the part number that I'm using here comes of the glass bedding that is used, comes from Dennis Carpenter. And that part number is 642244. 6423244. And it has a rubbery side to it that goes your glass goes in that this other side it actually has some fabric on the back it goes uh, into the frame and what you do is you take the <coughs> excuse me you take the uh, a material and you bend it like this and you insert it into the frame and then take something uh, screwdriver is better, uh, not too sharp a screwdriver, and, but a pencil or something will work. And bottom that out in, that, in the channel all the way around. Now, you do the same thing with the glass channel. Uh, and on the glass channel, because the glass channel is deeper, this is going to sink all the way down. 
but I didn't use any cement or anything because you have the glass captured in the metal frame. Now something else that I do, as you see here, I've cut a V, and this is just for demonstration purposes. <clears throat> there are actually more of these cuts when you're making or going around a curve. But when you start and you get to the curve part, have, make sure that you have cut some V's in it so that you don't get a wrinkle in there. And you can get it all in and check it and test it to make sure there's no, no wrinkles in there uh, to insert the glass. Now, uh, once you get all of your uh, <clears throat> bedding tape in for your glass, it's a two-person job. It, unless you've got a real good, deep, wide vise that won't <clears throat> damage your, your frame. One person holds it, and you have inserted some disc, disc detergent on the, uh, on the inside of your bedding tape with a brush and some dish detergent, and that will allow that glass to slide down in there. Do not use any force. That glass is expensive. Uh, slide that down in. The same goes for the uh, window channel. Uh, insert your your material, your bedding uh, material into the the uh, window channel, and again put some dish detergent in there and slide it on with the orientation uh, in the proper direction as we see here. I marked mine with masking tape. Now. What I'm going to show you next in the next segment is going to be the actual putting the glass into <clears throat> uh, a door. And there is a sequence that must be followed in order to get that glass in there. So we'll pick up on that in a little bit. I mentioned uh, earlier that uh, putting the glass in the metal frame was a two person job uh, unless you had a large vice and I just put this in by myself and successfully and um, you can see the type of vice that uh, that I'm talking about also if you look real close here you can see that that bedding material exceeds over the edge past the frame onto the glass after you get everything done, glasses in the vehicle and everything, you can take a good uh, uh, razor blade uh, type knife and, and, trim, and trim that excess off. It comes off just fine. Your glass is now captured in the uh, frame that uh, goes all the way around the perimeter of the door glass. As I mentioned, uh, the glass has got to go in first. I just laid this window regulator up here on top of the door. If you're working on a on a 42 to 47 Ford, you're going to have uh, this type of uh, uh, regulator in it. Now, uh, this is going to be uh, uh, a little tricky because I don't have my assistant out here with me right now to uh, do the video on this, but uh, I'm going to try it by putting it on a perch. But you can see that everything inside this door cavity is out. I even removed the uh, the uh, uh, door uh, lock unlock uh, piece right here to have complete uh, clearance inside here. So uh, I'm okay. You can see here that this is the starting point for inserting the window. Uh, you see how I have it oriented. This is the uh, uh, slanted side, the front of the door. This is the slanted side of the window that you see there. And what I'm, because I don't have my assistant, I'm going to have to stop and just tell you that, uh, that I'm going to insert that part first. And then I'll stop and I'll, uh, I'll uh, make another little segment of it here. So bear with me. Okay, folks, continuing on with the window, in, window insertion, uh, what you see here is you see the window positioned halfway up into the opening. And what I did there, I just continued on through the opening with the orientation that I had with the slanted side of the glass first down into the cavity. And then I rotated 
the uh, top of the window uh, frame to the right and excuse me I was able to get the metal frame that is on the perimeter of the glass into the track that the window will uh, move up and down in now I'm getting ready to stop and do another little segment here as we move along with this thank you okay uh, here's the uh, going to be the final segment if I can hold my hand steady here uh, the regulator is back in and is working properly there's something that I want to mention to you and that is is that uh, after you get your uh, window in and the track uh, is is uh, is in of course it will be if you've got the window completely uh, surrounded by the uh, the track and the metal frame leave your regulator loose uh, take it out and then put it back in without it being screwed down hold it up off the glass and slide slide the arm here over one end with the regulator loose and then take and slide the other opposite opposing arm in in the track and that's the only way that you're going to get that that track uh, and that uh, the regulator uh, in there it's pretty difficult uh, so there we are and uh, as you can see I'm going to try to hold the camera steady for you here buddy as you can see this window does operate smoothly I'm turning it with a crescent wrench I've got the handles but I'm just turning it with a crescent wrench but we have good smooth action uh, cranking down and we also have good smooth action cranking up and uh, thanks to everybody that helped me out and hopefully this YouTube video will help some of you folks out have a good one here are just a few of the suppliers that uh, I found very helpful uh, Dennis Carpenter has an outstanding tech support department and newrelics.com very accommodating and I've had nothing but good service out of Max. So uh, just a few that if you're looking for something, you might want to try these.